What's the word, y'all? It's double R to God tapping in with y'all. So look, man, I just woke up with this thought on my mind. Um, actually just looking up some stuff on the internet and it just made me think about this. So, you know, when you a little kid and you watching scary movies, like, remember when you would watch a scary movie and you would be scared as shit at night? Like, you would literally be imagining the demons or, you know, scary creatures in your head while, be, uh, while you sleeping because it's so on your mind and it's so heavily put in your mind because you just sat there for two hours and just watched this evil ass movie. Now, when you go lay down, when you look into a corner, you you see a shadow or you might see a figure that reminds you of that. And now you freaking out. You know what I'm saying? Like your brain will take an idea and elevate it a million times over. You know what I'm saying? And still, even today, people are scared to go into a dark room or walk into a, a, a place unknown because they think subconsciously there's a Michael Myers or there's a demon hidden in the room because you've been programmed to think like this. You know what I'm saying? By watching evil movies. Right. So here's a scenario. Here's a scenario where. Um, something doesn't have to actually be real for you to manifest it in your reality and live based around that false idea. So when it comes to religion and the idea of demons and, uh, you know, Satan and, and all these creatures and all these demonic entities, they're just ideas that have been programmed into your brain since you were little. These senses of feeling Satan around and listen, y'all, none of that shit is real. The the God that they refer to in these religious texts and the devil that they refer to in these religious texts all exist within you. They are just different aspects of yourself. There is a higher higher self and there's a lower self. Right. And those lower selves resonate with what they associate to be with the devil or can be associated with that. It just depends on your perspective and your higher self associates with with the uh, greater entities that they refer to in these religious texts. So, you know, when you taught as a little kid that you either believe in this man here or you go with this guy over here in a burning fire for the rest of your life and you're going to burn in hell and you got to look at all these scary ass demons. You could imagine how that would play on your mind if you can imagine how a scary movie scares a child at night. These kids, instead of watching movies, they're going to churches every every week, once a week for a couple hours, barely know what they learning. And the 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 only major part that they remember is I have to repent to this God and I don't want to go to hell because there's demons. I know there's a devil that's walking around watching everything that I do that could really play on a child's mind. And it even plays on humans minds because we see how people still believe in this stuff and. No disrespect to anybody who's religious, and I'm not trying to attack uh, who uh, your relationship with God because that's the that's the major problem when it, uh, discussing religion. <clears throat> on the opposite end, is that people feel like you're attacking their relationship with God because they have viewed these these uh, personified entities in this book as actual people, and they're not. They're just representations of certain energies you should represent or how things are supposed to be or what you should look up to not necessarily the real thing you get what i'm saying so <clears throat> because of that people are still carrying out these ideas that they learned from when they were little into real life and the reason that i that that this uh whole thing came to me this whole idea came to me was because i was reading an article and it was talking about uh lucifer and how his demons are still roaming the streets and to a little kid, and not even to a little kid, to me, when I when I uh, first read that, I imagined demons running through the street. <clears throat> even though I've never seen a demon before, you know, it's only what has been shown to me on TV. So as I'm reading, images are popping in my head into my subconscious. You know what I'm saying? So just imagine somebody who wasn't uh, as aware as I am. And, you know, has trained their mind to understand these type of thought process and stuff like that. That image will be ingrained in their head. They will literally take that and be telling people, yeah, demons are still running around the streets because this is what they heard. And they'll and they'll really 
visualize and create that identity, even though it's not literal. But in a sense, it is literal. They they were meaning it literally. So, you know, that's one aspect of of religion that needs to be discussed because it's a lot of uh, personified beings and characters in the Bible uh, that that cannot be proven. Uh, a lot of the scenarios don't make sense and they're only being justified because of how how connected you are to the doctrine as opposed to how factual it is. But that's all I wanted to talk to you all about love.